Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today is going to be the Q&A video. I asked on my Instagram if anybody had any questions they, they wanted to ask me. I really wanted to do one more Q&A since I am officially two weeks from baby boy coming hopefully sooner, a little bit sooner. <laughs> hopefully he doesn't get, ever do. Even though I know most first babies do end up coming after their due date. We're hoping not because I'm just ready to meet him and I feel like he's running out of room. I feel like I've been saying that for a while though and then he just keeps growing but hopefully sooner rather than later he's here. But we have two weeks left till my due date and so I wanted to do this Q&A so I could answer all your questions before he gets here. All right so we are just going to get started. Pull up the questions. Okay and these are in no particular order these are literally just the order that I got them in so here we go what is your favorite trimester and why that's a hard one for sure <laughs> probably not the first one the first one the only good thing about it is finding out that we were pregnant other than that I was sick the whole time and looking back it was way worse than I was letting on I don't I guess when you're in it you just survival mode you just keep going but looking back, I don't know how I made it through the day not being able to eat any meat or really anything at all and constantly being nauseous. So it's for sure not <laughs> the first trimester. The second trimester was, it's between the second and third trimester. The second trimester was a lot of fun because my belly started growing. That's when I felt the first little kicks. I wasn't super big yet. I had a cute little bump. But the third trimester has also been fun because now it's like full-fledged kicks and I can feel like the outline of his feet and I still think my bump looks really cute even though it's like huge. So I don't know. I guess if I had to choose, I would say the second trimester just because the pain associated with the third trimester is not there in the second trimester. The second trimester truly is like the honeymoon phase of pregnancy. So I guess if I had to choose, I'd choose the second trimester just because there's no pain. But really the third trimester, if I wasn't in pain, I would pick the third trimester. What will be most exciting when he's born? Honestly, just seeing what he looks like because we've had a 3D ultrasound. If you haven't seen it, I posted a picture a while back. You have to go a few posts back. But I posted a picture of his 3D ultrasound. So we have an idea of what he looks like. But it's going to be really fun to actually see him in person and be able to hold him. Because right now it still hasn't hit me that I'm going to have a full baby. Because it just doesn't register to me that a full baby can fit in my belly right now. Like I know it's my belly is big but also I'm like how? I know he's squished but anyways. I would say that's the most exciting thing. That's kind of two things. But seeing what he looks like and actually being able to hold him. That's going to be the most exciting part. Names. We still don't know what his name is. We're between a few and at this point we're just, when we see him, hopefully he'll look like one of the names that we like and that's what we'll go with. We are between like three names and we'll just choose when we see him. <laughs> Our goal is to just choose before we leave the hospital so that's the plan. What advice would you ask an experienced mom? And this might be, I haven't even read these questions so this might be might answer another question but the m thing I'm most nervous about is just figuring everything out so I guess honestly I would just ask an experienced mom like just what's your number one tip because at this point I don't even know what I don't know yet <laughs> so I don't even know the questions that I have ask me like two weeks after he's born I'm sure I'll have a million questions for experienced mom but for right now I can't think of a specific one just whatever your best tip is to me <laughs> be godly appreciated. <laughs> what advice would you give to someone wanting to get pregnant? I don't know. I feel like I'm not the best to give advice because I didn't necessarily do the best at keeping my mental health very good while we were trying to have a baby. <laughs> so I guess my advice would be to make sure to pay attention to your own mental health and don't get so wrapped up in trying to have a baby even though that's really hard to not do and just try and relax and enjoy that stage of life because I didn't take the time to enjoy that stage of life. Yeah, I guess that would be my advice. Do you think baby boy will come early, late, or on time? I don't know. 
I went to the doctor today, I'm 38 weeks, and I'm a centimeter dilated, which really when you're a centimeter, it could mean in two days you could be three centimeters, in a week you'd still be a centimeter dilated. So I'm not really sure. Over the past few days, I've had more and more Braxton Hicks contractions, so that's a good sign. I'm thinking he'll come a week early. I don't know if that's just wishful thinking or if I really believe he's gonna come a week early, but I think a week early. Adam's thinking about a week early but I'm also preparing myself for the fact that he might not come early at all. But I think he, he'd come early, just because I feel like he's running out of room, he's putting a lot of pressure everywhere, and he's, he's I mean, I'm having a lot of contractions and they're not becoming more painful or more frequent because that would mean they were real contractions, but I'm having more every day than the day before. I think he's gonna come a week early. We'll see if we're if I'm right or not. Hello, Dolly, when do you think he's gonna come? She doesn't care. <laughs> Is your twin sister super excited for you? Yes, and I'm super excited for her because if you guys don't know, she's pregnant too. But yeah, she's super excited because for both of us, it's been, well other than, I've been an on again more recently because Adam's sisters had kids and they're younger, but as far as our side of the family, me and my sister haven't been aunts again, like for new aunts for like 11 years. So we're both really excited because the last time we had a new niece or nephew on our side, we were still really young, we were like 15. So it's really exciting to be an aunt and be older. So she's super excited for that. She has bought him some of the cutest little outfits and cutest little shoes, even though she knows that he might wear those shoes one time. <laughs> she, she said she doesn't care. She just wants him to wear it at least one time. But yeah, she's super excited. I'm really excited for her as well. And I'm excited to know what she's having as well. But yeah, we're both really excited. It's been our dream to be pregnant at the same time. So it's literally a dream come true. Even though we're six months apart or a little over a little, I don't remember. It's around six months apart. It's still really exciting to be pregnant at the same time. Do you think he'll have hair when he's born? 100%. When we got our 3D ultrasound, and I'll pop up a picture up here, he had a good amount of hair, even though I haven't really had any heartburn. I've had heartburn maybe five times, and then probably two weeks ago, I had heartburn really bad for like two days straight. It must have just been what I was eating, I don't know. But I had heartburn really bad, like no matter what I ate, I had really bad heartburn, but it went away after two days. So I was really surprised that he had a lot of hair in the ultrasound because I was fully expecting him to be bald because I had not had much. How many days left till your due date? 14. I'm counting or anything, but the, as of today, it's two weeks from today is my due date. Not that long at all. Two weeks can go by super fast, hopefully. It is true what they say that the last two, three weeks of pregnancy go by the slowest. It really does, and I'm pretty sure it's just because I'm just ready and I want it to go fast, so that's why it's not going fast. It's kind of like when you're sitting at school and you watch the clock constantly. Time will go by slow. Yeah, two weeks, 14 days. What has your weirdest craving been? Oh, I thought about it earlier and now I can't remember. Isn't that weird? <laughs> I literally thought something earlier. I was like, that's actually a really weird craving. But now I can't remember what it was. I answered this in my, sorry I yawned so my eyes are watering. I answered this in my end of second trimester Q&A and I haven't had anything super weird like some people crave like pickles and ice cream or something like that. It's just been really odd things like off the wall things like I'll just dally. I'll just think of something random that I really want and I'll like have to go to the store and get it. But it's never, it hasn't been anything constant. It's something new every week. This week it's cereal, specifically Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Uh, last week it was just ice cream. Week before that it was cupcakes. It's nothing nothing super weird that sticks out. She just hit me in the head with that. But yeah, just random ones each week. Like some, some pregnant women have one craving that they stick with the whole time. Mine changes like every week. I guess that's the weird part. Last question. What are you most, most nervous about? And I already kind of answered that. I'm most nervous about just figuring everything out because this is... Having a baby is just one of those things, like people can tell you all the things that they have to tell you, but until you're thrown into the trenches, you're not gonna be able to figure it out. So I'm kind of nervous about that, even though I know we'll have people over helping us and stuff. It's gonna be 
a lot the first few weeks to figure everything out, figure out like a routine that works, what works for this baby, because what works for this baby might not work for what another baby that somebody's telling me about, it worked for them. So that's really what I'm most nervous about. I'm not really nervous about birth because to me, it's just one of those things you just, it's gonna be what it's gonna be, you know? <laughs> we talked about this in my other video when I they asked about a birth plan. My birth plan is to figure it out as we go because I don't wanna get my hopes up for anything and I also don't want to go in with certain expectations and be let down when I have to make a certain decision or another. So we're gonna wing it and we're gonna figure it out as we go. So I'm not really that nervous about birth it i trust the doctors and the nurses and i trust that i'll make the right decision me and adam will right make the right decision if there's any decisions that need to be made but yeah i'm just nervous about finding a schedule <laughs> just figuring out a schedule that's the main thing well that is all the questions i have if you have any questions that you thought of or that you didn't um get to put into my instagram when i Put the poll out there just put them down below i'll answer them in the comments other than that i'll see you guys in my next video like i said in the last one who knows when baby boy is going to come so as of right now the plan is once a week video still on thursdays maybe a bonus video here and there but whenever he gets here we're going to just see how it goes so i'm going to film some videos to have scheduled but i will see you guys in the next one her friend must be outside. Okay, I'm gonna go. Bye.